Hey, hi, it's Eva Riviera Cancun fans. I have the scoop for you today. Uh, we've got all of the insider information that you've been so hungry for. I know everyone wants to know about the different restaurants, the bars. Is there a swim up bar? What kind of room categories are there? Well, I'm telling you, you need to watch this video right to the end because we have got all the details for you, including information on not only Ocean View Suites, but Ocean Front. Oh, yeah. This is really fun information. It's so exciting. So let's check it out. Okay, so we're back again with one of our favorite sales reps, Freddie Marsh from Playa Resorts, which you guys all know as Hyatt. So thanks for joining me today, Freddie. Hey, Christine. Great to see you. Nice to be back. Well, today we're going to talk about the brand new, latest, greatest Hyatt Resort that's opening up, which is the Hyatt Siva Riviera Cancun. So can you give us a little bit of an overview about this? I know we're all so excited and it's, there's not a ton of information out there yet, but uh, tell us what you can. I know, isn't it exciting? I'm really thrilled that we've got a brand new Hyatt Ziva that's gonna be opening in the um, Riviera Maya, only 20 minutes away from the airport. So it was an existing property. It was the Secret Silver Sands, which was an adults only resort previously. Right. It's been closed, I think, is it been closed for a couple of years? Yeah, since uh, I think it was 2018 actually. That's what I thought. And so we're doing a complete renovation. And so when we do a renovation, it's not like new curtains and bedspreads. It's like full on um, renovation. And it's going to be opening late summer. So we don't have an exact date yet, although you'll be the first to know, Christine, once we, <laughs> once we have that. Stay but, tuned uh, here for info, folks. <laughs> exactly. But uh, all they're telling us right now is late summer. Um, because it's a Hyatt Ziva, that means it's an all ages property. And we're doing some really exciting things there. But what I like is just the location that we're only 20 minutes from the airport. So no long transfer once you land in Cape. And I know that we're going to be showing some renderings, but I wanted to mention with Playa Resorts, I can never believe how accurate they are. So, you know, we'll see these renderings for, you know, several months before we open. And then I go down to the resort. It's like, okay, it looks exactly like the rendering, like even down to the pattern on some of the like accessories, like throw cushions and things like that. Like it looks identical. So what we're about to see is going to be pretty close to really what it's going to look like when it opens later this summer. Now, do we know how many rooms they're going to have at the resort? I know a lot of stuff's changing, but have they announced that yet? Yes. So it's going to be 438 room uh, property, which is a nice size. It's big enough that there's going to be lots of options for restaurants and bars and things to do, but it's not going to be a mega resort where, you know, you need a bus pass to get to the beach <laughs> kind of thing. Well, so let's talk about the design of it. So with the lobby, we've got a couple of renderings of what that looks like. Very modern, um, clean lines. It actually reminds me like the, the, the renderings of the lobby and the arrival reminds me a lot of the Hyatt Ziva in Cancun. Um, for whatever reason, it just, it looks very similar to that. So I have a feeling it'll be, it'll have a lot of the same feel as the Hyatt Ziva Cancun, but it's got a beautiful, you know, there's definitely a wow factor as soon as you arrive at the resort. And one thing that we do like to do at Playa Resorts is our, our lobbies are usually open air and then they're ocean facing, like ocean view. And I don't know for sure if we're going to have that at this property, but I'm assuming probably because we do that at most of the resorts, but definitely, definitely a wow factor when you arrive. So from the lobby, we've got this fabulous uh, bar area, um, a really nice social area. It looks like they've kept that part similar to what they've done at Secret Silver Sand. So it's a very uh, high ceiling area and a, a nice large gathering space. We don't have any renderings of the club lounge but they have said that they are going to have club rooms at this property, correct? Yes, yeah, so we definitely will have some club rooms. And so there will be a club lounge, I'm guessing. Usually I can't see us not doing that, but I just don't have any of the details on the club lounge yet. Okay, perfect, perfect. So tell so, us about the spa a little bit. What, what else do we know about this? Well, I'm, the spa is going to be pretty incredible. It's actually a two-story spa, so it's going to be quite large. 
and it's going to be over 16,000 square feet. So it's gonna be a really nice size. And uh, there's also gonna be a relaxation pool as part of the spa, so a hydrotherapy area, basically. There'll Perfect. also be 13 indoor treat treatment rooms, and there'll also be some outdoor treatment rooms, which I know a lot of people really like, and there's gonna be eight of those as well. There will be an expansive spa menu featuring classic and exotic treatments from around the globe. And I do know that the spa is going to be um, really taking in a lot of the influence of the Mayan culture for sure. Oh, nice. Well, that sounds interesting. I wonder what these international spa treatments are going to be all about. I know. I'm kind of curious. We might have to check those out, eh? Well, I, I mean, only for the sake of, you know, people who are planning on staying there, I think somebody should do a little bit of research and, uh, you, you know, just checking it out, make sure it's, you know, what everyone's going to expect, right? Absolutely. And I, I mean, I'll suffer through if you will. You're, you know what, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Now, I'll, always with the, the Hyatt Resorts, there's always fabulous wedding areas and uh, also, you know, corporate event areas. And this is one that I was looking at that I just think looks really beautiful. This outdoor amphitheater looks like it would just be so beautiful for weddings. Do we know anything more about this? No. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that too. I was looking at the, the, the renderings of that amphitheater and it took me back to when I went to Turkey and Greece. And because that's, of course, you know, where they, I think amphitheaters first came out. And I just love that idea because you're outdoor. It looks like they're going to do a beautiful job for it. And I agree. What a beautiful setting for a destination wedding. Yeah. Um, that would just be incredible. And I'm assuming that we'll probably there'll be different shows there. I'm assuming that'll probably be one of the venues for maybe some of the entertainment. I'm guessing on sure. that, I'm not sure, but, but why not? Tell us how many bars and lounges are they going to have? Well, Christine, you are going to love this. So I'm just going to cheat and look at my notes, but uh, <laughs> very impressive. So we actually are going to have 10 different restaurants. Wow. So lots of dining options. And of course, because it's a Hyatt Ziva, um, we don't limit our guests to how often you can go to the a la carte restaurant. So of course, we'll always have a buffet restaurant, at least one. And then we have several different a la carte restaurants. And you can just go to whichever a la carte restaurant as often as you like. No reservations, which I love because I hate making reservations for dinner on vacation. Um, and some really cool options for restaurants and I don't know if you noticed this Christine you probably did nothing gets by you but <laughs> one of the restaurants is habaneros which is very similar to the Hyatt Ziva Cancun remember habaneros is the yeah. Mexican beachfront grill mm -hmm. they're doing and that one is hugely popular the Hyatt yeah. Ziva Cancun so they're um, doing a habaneros at the Hyatt Riviera Cancun as well, which is going to be like fish tacos and ceviche <sighs> and chips and salsa, guac, and on the beach. So what other restaurants um, are there going to be? I know we've got some renderings here of the Mexican restaurant, but that would this is going to be different than Habaneros, right? Yeah, so Habaneros is more of um, like a casual kind of, you know, go up in a in your bathing suit and a cover-up kind of thing and just grab a, a you know quick easy delicious lunch but we're also going to have a mexican restaurant called kai it's k-i i'm assuming it's pronounced kai i think that's how we pronounce it Ki? well if you're saying this is going to have a huge mayan theme then maybe there's some relative uh naming association to that I think so. They usually, there's yeah. usually a lot of thought that goes into the name. So I'm sure there is a meaning behind it. Yeah. Um, but this is Mexican food with a modern makeover while maintaining its traditional flavors and spices. Well, that sounds interesting. Yeah. That <laughs> yeah, it does sound good. But this one is going to be a beautiful restaurant, has the perfect ambience to explore the flavors of French cuisine which come from the modern form mouthwash, mouth-watering dishes. So that's all they've really given us for information on the uh, French restaurant. It does say adults only. So okay. the, 
and that's common. Uh, most of our resorts, like I know Cabo, uh, the French re restaurants, adults only, I think Hyatt Siva Cancun, it's restaurant. So we usually do our French restaurant as the adults only option. And that's Thai, Chinese, and Japanese cuisines to come together as the one in the mythical Mayako, as chefs prepare sushi, curry, ramen, love ramen, and <laughs> stir fry uh, right before your eyes. So it looks like there's going to be some show cooking at that resort. So there is a restaurant that is going to be called Athonia, which is open for breakfast and lunch. And that looks like it is going to be uh, a breakfast buffet. And then at night, enjoy Mediterranean cuisine perfectly prepared. So it's going to have, you know, it's a multi-purpose restaurant, depending on what time of the day. There is, of course, an Italian restaurant. We got to have an Italian restaurant. <laughs> and that one looks great. We also include 24 hour room service included as well. So we always include that as one of the restaurant counts because it's another option. Uh, and we don't uh, charge a room service delivery fee. I always like to point that out because I know that some of our competitors do that. They say that they include the, the room service, but then they surprise you with an $8 delivery fee. So we don't do that. Um, and room service is included 24 hours a day. Great room service menu. We will definitely be having a coffee shop. It's going to be called Casa del Cafe. So this is um, where you go for your espressos, your frappuccinos, your cappuccinos. And then in the morning, see, I'm not much of a breakfast eater. I just like to have maybe a banana and a muffin or something with my coffee. So I love- Or an apple. <laughs> or an apple. I love my apple, an apple a day. Um, I really like the coffee shop option. So um, we do that at all of our resorts. And um, of course, we're gonna be doing that at this property as well, but they have uh, fresh baked goods in the morning, which is really nice. They've got fresh fruit and yogurt. And then in the afternoon, as the day goes on, they swap out the breakfast food and they have um, things like wraps and sandwiches and apples and um, uh, little cups of uh, cut up fruit. And the, my favorite thing, you're going to help me because you know exactly what I'm talking about, is the little cup with the cut up carrots, jicama, and celery. And then it's got that orange. Tajin. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's my You've got a big bottle of it down in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like spicy. It would be comparable to like a, almost like a Cajun seasoning, but less salty, I find. Um, and with a little bit more kick to it. Oh, I love that stuff. It's really good. So it's just a little bit of, to spice up your vegetables while you're being healthy. What other bars is there, are there going to be? Have they mentioned a swim up bar? There sure is. We love yeah. our swim up bars. So it's actually yeah. called Delphin. And it's going to be in the main pool. So you can swim up and grab a cocktail. And so we've seen some of the other bar areas. We've seen the renderings of the lobby bar, and there's also an outdoor bar just off that terrace. Um, you mentioned there's going to be a swim up bar. There's also, I saw pictures of a sports bar, which is always a, a fun place to go and watch the games. Yeah, the sports bar is going to be called Off Court. <laughs> and <laughs> I like the name. So it's going to be really fun. Um, it's going to be a great place to go really any time of the day, but especially um, in the evenings after dinner, it's going to be a nice kind of vibe sports bar. We're going to have, of course, subscriptions to all the major sports channels. So if you happen to be at the resort during, you know, I'm not a sports person, what playoffs or World Cup, those are sports terms, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be playing all that kind of stuff, including like hockey games and all that. And there'll be lots of different screens as well. So it'll be a lot of fun. Are there any other bars that they mentioned on there? Yes. So do you want me to go through the list for you? Yeah, go on. Okay. So there's going to be um, one called Bollock. And this is actually going to be uh, a wine and dine al fresco. <laughs> um, so, Hello. Yeah, it says it's going to have a Caribbean flair to that. So 
Um, I, that's all it says. So I don't really know too much more about that one. <laughs> you had me at hello on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I like this one. This is called The Corner. And oh, this is one of the restaurants, actually, but they're going to have drinks there as well. Um, we talked about off court. We talked about Delphin, which is the swim up. We're also going to have one called Infusions. And this hot spot is known for over the top drinks mixed and poured with fresh ingredients and unique presentations in a cool, laid back setting. So I know that you know the Hyatt Ziva Capcana. Cap I'm thinking One-Eyed Cat. Is yes, be that's exactly what I was thinking. For you? Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be because that was, you know, what we do is when something really works at one of our resorts, we will duplicate it at another resort. So we never, we never have cookie cutter resorts. So never any resort is a duplicate of another one, but we do take good ideas that have worked at another resort and add them. And then there's another one here called Breeze. And this one says, after a day filled with adventure, relax with a cocktail in hand at this breezy outdoor lobby bar. There is going to be another one here. And this one looks interesting. It's called The Red. So it's in the color red. And it says, a haven for foodies and wine connoisseurs alike. The Red offers a large variety of wines, craft beers, and char oh, I have a hard time with this word, charcuterie yeah, yeah. in a calming space. So that, that one sounds, sounds awesome. I know, I know. It sounds really interesting. So they're just giving us little teases. So they're not telling us everything, but they're just kind of giving us a little bit of a tease. Well, it's working. You know, you guys, I don't know what you're thinking about this. I know everyone's really excited about this property opening. But now I'm like, <laughs> I mean, this sounds amazing. So let's talk about now the room categories, because this is something that's been a little bit elusive. Yeah, so this is sort of a uh, work in progress. We have opened up the resort for sale, um, but not all the room categories. I think there's only six suite categories that are currently for sale, but more are going to be coming on as we uh, go through the summer, basically. But I right. can... Uh, share with you. Do you want me just to go through the categories that I've got listed that are coming? Yeah, yeah. If you can read them out, because um, we before we started the, the recording here, we were talking about the rooms. And I know that there's been a little bit of concern because one of the room categories that hasn't been released for pre-sale is the ocean view or the ocean front rooms. So yeah, can you just like go through them and just list them off for us? We're going to have one category called a water park view junior suite and then of course with Hyatt Ziva resorts and Hyatt Solaras we always guarantee the bedding configuration when you make the booking so that's one of the great things that we do and by that I mean um, either one king bed or two queen size beds uh, instead of oh. double beds so um, when you're making your booking just make sure if you want a king bed just make sure your the category will say king or if you want two beds it'll say double tropical view junior suite then we're going to have pool view junior suites ocean view junior suites then we're going to have a category called junior suite pool walkout wow and i can only way, imagine what that's gonna look like if you're traveling with kids <laughs> oh wouldn't that be great yeah and by the way all these rooms so far that i've listed off they're all 668 square feet. Whoa. Yeah. Oceanfront junior suites. And usually when you say oceanfront with a Hyatt, oceanfront means as close to the ocean as you possibly can get. So for those of you who are worried about that category, it's coming. Oceanfront junior suite pool walkout. Ocean view rooftop master suite exceptionally spacious. These lavish master suites feature a king bed and a pull-out sofa, offer the ultimate indulgences and supreme ocean views. That supreme sounds amazing. That I'm sound really amazing? excited to see that. So uh, folks, I will do another video specifically on the rooms once the renderings are out for those. Oh. Oceanfront master suite, and that's 
1,377 square feet. So it's even okay. bigger. And then our biggest ones, if you have uh, viewers that really want to splurge, they can book into the presidential suite, which is over 2,000 square feet. Okay, and now we are going, we are saving the best for last. So tell me, and there's obviously going to be a kids club because it's a Ziva resort. And we don't have any renderings on that, but we do have some renderings on the splash park. So tell me about this. So we are, as a company, uh, we are really getting into water parks because that is what our guests are telling us that they want. It's going to be pretty incredible. It's going to be a completely new water park. It's going to be Mexico's newest water park. There's going to be four full-size water slides. And um, those are four, you have to be four feet or taller to go on the large water slides. So no age restriction, just a height restriction. Height restriction. Okay. And We're looking at this, the rendering here and, you know, of course things can change, but as Freddie said, it usually stays the same. So as you can see right at the front here, we've got one that looks like it would be a double, maybe a two person slide or an inner tube slide. So that'll be really cool to see. And then the second and the fourth slide that we're looking at are enclosed. And those are always uh, good for a couple of shrieks along the way. And the third one there looks like it's open, which might be the one to start with and then ease your way into the other slide. And then I wanted to show this picture. Now, this is sort of the walkway up to the water slides. And I, I saw this picture and I thought, oh my goodness, if I was a bride at this resort, this is where I would want to have a photo. This covered walkway. Oh my goodness. And then does the water party go down the water slides? Oh my goodness. Could you imagine like the whole new meaning to trash the dress, right? That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So walk around the resort, take all your photos, then go up to the water slide in that archway, take some photos and then hop on one of those tubes and scoot down the slide. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> and then of course with our water parks there's no additional charge i do get that question oh. quite often as people will ask is do i pay extra to go to the water park and no absolutely not that's part of your resort and you're staying at a five-star all-inclusive resort so we're including that right and i wanted to say for those of you who like to do your morning walks along the beach um, this beach area is very walkable. If you do decide to go for a bit of a walk, make sure you take water with you. Um, but you can walk from the resort over to Puerto Morales, walk over to the resort, Uber it back. Um, <laughs> That's a good idea. But this resort sounds amazing, Freddie. If you guys have questions that we didn't answer for you here, please, you know, jot them down below. And, uh, you know, our guy, Freddie here, he's always happy to help out. Absolutely. Yeah, so I'm um, really excited about this. And uh, as soon as we know when the resort's going to open, we'll have more information to share. Yes, and as more information comes out, because it's going to, I have a feeling, you know, we're going to get more and more information quite quickly now as we get closer. Uh, of course, Christine, you're always the first to find out everything. So we'll make sure we keep you in the loop on any new developments. Sounds great. Well, thanks for joining us today, Freddie, and um, we'll see you next time. Take care. My pleasure. Thank you. So I hope you enjoyed that video. As we said, you know, as more information comes out and we get more renderings and more real photos, we're going to share those with you. So stay tuned for that and more developing information on the resort. We're going to send that out to you as we get it and uh, really looking forward to seeing this brand new resort. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.